Hello friends and welcome to this video where I'm going to be sharing seven cleaning hacks with you guys. But not only that, but because this video is actually in collaboration with the lovely Charlotte, I will let her introduce herself, but she is also going to be sharing an extra seven cleaning hacks with you guys. So make sure to head over to her channel once you've watched mine. Hi everyone, my name's Charlotte. I am a self-employed domestic cleaner. I also make content on YouTube. My channel is called Mummy Cleans. So as you can probably tell, I do a lot of cleaning content. So I'll make the long form cleaner motivation videos. And then I also do shorts as well. So you'll find some satisfying cleaning, ASMR, cleaning tips, all that kind of stuff on there as well. And I also share my food haul and meal plan every week. I try to do easy meals to save us some time because I don't enjoy cooking to be honest. Um, so I'm always trying to find some easy healthy meals. But yeah, I hope that you will come over to my channel and watch my cleaning tips once you've watched Alina's. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you over there. In case you are new to the channel though guys, I am Alina Ghost and I do daily mum shorts. I also do two long form videos a week. A lot of the time it's clean with me's as well and motivation and get it all done with me's. I love those. I love like wholesome videos. I also love to clean. I do confess I'm one of those crazy people. <laughs> but basically in this video I chose seven cleaning hacks that I personally use day in day out because I think they're so useful and I hope that they're useful to you guys as well. So basically without further ado, let's start with the first one. I am always about maintenance over deep cleans if I can manage it because I am a working mum. I'm a biz busy person. I do tons of things which means that I don't often get time to do the deep cleans. I also have a four year old, I have a dog, I've got things that I need to be doing every single day, right? So what I'm trying to say is maintenance over big cleans, but let's be specific here. I wanted to say that actually you can clean the shower whilst you're in the shower. So two ways to do that is to actually have a squeegee in the shower already so that you can like clean the glass once you finish showering that's what we do all the time and not only do i do it but the whole family gets to do it because the way you maintain it is for the whole family to do it so basically what happens is that instead of having those water stains we no longer have them because we use the squeegee and make sure that we're actually cleaning it. But the other way is actually have like a sponge or something in the shower with you so that you can do like, like I don't know, cleaning the grout for example, or just making sure that if you see different like, I don't know, shower gels or shampoos that you see on the tiles on the side of the shower you just give it a little bit of a scrub whilst you're showering as well and then you can get on and do what you need to do so wash your hair you know that kind of stuff so that i feel is just like maintenance over deep cleans and it means that you can like hold off longer for those deep cleans because you're actually maintaining it whilst you're showering tip number two is especially if you've got pets so I have a dog, a puppy, who absolutely loves being outside. So we do have a big garden, but we also go on daily walks, which means that no matter whether it's raining or sun shining, basically we need to go walking with the dog and it means we come back muddy. So I recommend actually cleaning before you go in. But this actually counts for kids as well. So if it's a wet day, if it's a muddy day, they've got their wellies, just make sure that you clean before you go into the house. So we're quite lucky that we have a porch. So basically what happens is that I wipe my dog's paws before we go into the house. I sometimes even leave a wet cloth before I come back. So before I even leave, I make sure that it's like a moist cloth on the side so that I can wash his paws before he even goes in. So it's a great idea to just like maintain the floors so that you don't have to mop it as much. The other thing I've recommended in the past is called Mud Daddy. It's like a little shower so it depends on how big your tub is but it's basically a tub of water and you give it a little bit of a wash for your dog's paws. Obviously you do that outside and not in the porch but basically you just like wash them down before they go even into the house so that you can maintain the floors, you don't have to mop as much and basically it's a great idea to even wash your wellies too. It's such a portable item that I think is fantastic whether you keep it in the garage or the porch to just keep that dirt away. 
So this cleaning hack I've actually learned from someone called Delilah. She's a YouTuber from Lupke's Life. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but basically I will leave her link down below. But basically what she does is that when she cleans the bins, she doesn't only put one bag in, but she makes sure that there's a couple of other bags underneath that plastic bag as well. So if that makes sense, so it's underneath at the bottom, but you put like another bag on top for where the rubbish goes in. It's especially great I found for like bathrooms and like smaller bins because that way you don't have to always like keep looking for those small bin bags to like the small bin liners to like actually change it up. It's always there because you get rid of one, great, you throw it away, but you always know where the other one is because it's at the bottom of the bin. Great, saves you time and makes sure that you don't have to go fetching and looking for it. It's fantastic. So something that I use day in, day out personally. So I hope that you guys like it as well. So this next one is all about multitasking. I absolutely love killing two birds with one stone, right? So my recommendation is throughout your day, make sure that you're picking up toys or items from off the floor a number of times a day, but use that excuse as well to squat. So basically it's a great way to exercise and keeping you active and motivated throughout the day, but it also cleans your environment as well so you're, it's a win-win situation you're like cleaning up and it's decluttering or rather it's keeping your visual environment nice because you're keeping away those items off the floor the toys are put away you can walk nicely without getting irritated and at the same time you're getting your exercise in so this leads me on nicely to my next point Basically invest in organizers and baskets. I personally love these kinds of things because not only does it keep your items organized and you always know where they are, but also it just keeps it visually clean, which for me de-stresses me, you know, like I always feel at peace knowing that my environment is looking good. So basically I would recommend having organizers, especially for like toys, I absolutely love baskets. I've got like a basket right here that I can show you. But basically you just throw and you walk away. That's how easy it is. And if, if you do that multiple times a day, as I've mentioned before, you get your exercise because you're doing your squats, but also it's looking good. And if you've got baskets that are just like open, you know, you can like chuck it and walk away and it's all nice and it's all done and basically I feel happier and I hope that you guys feel happy as well doing it. So this next hack is actually something that you can use from when your kids are very little to when they're potty training during the night and basically I can't recommend it more and not only in the kids rooms but also in your bedrooms and you'll understand what I mean when I explain what it is. Basically mattress toppers, mattress protectors, things like that. So I always recommend that you not only have them, which they're great, but you have two. And this saved me tons and tons of sleepless nights, especially when my son was a newborn. Basically, I would have a double mattress protector on his cot. And then if he was a little bit sick, or if we had an accident, so basically I was using um, cloth diapers for the first time, so I didn't actually know how to use them. And because I wasn't very like experienced and didn't know what I was doing, he would have often like quite soilage issues and things like that, but no matter, it didn't matter because I was able to get rid of one mattress protector and then without actually having to change it during the night and things, it will already, like the second one will already be there because usually it was just like small soilage, like it wouldn't actually go to that second layer. So what I'm trying to say is like, try and make your life a little bit easier by like doubly protecting your mattresses so that you don't have to worry about it during the night. You just take one cover off and usually it's absolutely you find to use that second one and off you go so obviously it doesn't work if the soilage is a lot bigger but at the same time if you use a mattress topper instead and you've got two of the mattress toppers so toppers are usually a little bit thicker they've got a lot more like filling in them so basically if you know that they're heavy wetters then maybe the toppers are the way to go but once again if you double up it means that if you they do have an accident you get rid of that top layer and then they can easily sleep on that top uh, on that second layer underneath that so i thought it was fantastic i can't remember who i learned that from but i wish i could basically give you the source if you do remember and think of who the actual person who thought of that great idea is make sure to comment 
comment down below but basically that is my uh, like one number one suggestion especially if you're like a first time parent or if it's like a newborn hack that you're really uh, interested in so my next cleaning hack is all about tools in the vest in the tools that you will be cleaning with it might seem ott so over the top it might seem like you're spending too much money because it's a fad or like it's just something that you've seen on tiktok however have a think about if it saves you time we are so time poor especially as parents we need to make sure that we use our time wisely so why not have items that help us clean the house to make sure that it's done quickly, to make sure that it's done effectively. So what I'm trying to say here is that I've got things that I invest in, that I've spent money on, knowing that I'm going to use it time and time again, it's going to help me. One of those examples would be a, an extendable duster. I very much recommend it, especially for me, that's useful because I've got taller ceilings, so it means that I can't actually reach them practically, so instead of grabbing a chair in every place, actually I can use the extendable item to help me clean the ceilings, like from cobwebs and things like that, and dust up there especially when it comes to lampshades and things like that so basically um, just make sure that you're using practical items that help you around the house the other thing is my handheld hoover I don't know where I'd be without my handheld hoover so the fact that it's cordless I can use it anywhere that I want to it's practical in terms of like quite like movable you know you have to get into all the places but the other thing i've got an animal i've got loads of fur around so i have to like be hoovering nearly every single day and basically it picks up the fur a lot better than other hoovers that i've tried personally so i basically just recommend that you invest in the things that you know that you're going to be using day in day out and if they help you do the things that you want to do around the house so cleaning saves you time so go for it this is me motivating you guys to go and do a little bit of shopping but don't come running to me if your bank account looks a little bit sore this month <laughs> so guys those are my seven cleaning hacks if you did like what you see make sure to go and head over to charlotte's youtube video which is called mummy cleans and see an extra seven cleaning hacks that you would absolutely love i hope that you get motivated cleaning thank you so much for joining me i can't wait to share more clean with me's with you and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye